I mean, there's lots of things that I feel like I could talk about, but probably the most pertinent that's on my mind today is just the idea of confidence and nervousness and how they don't need to be intrinsically at odds with each other. You see, I think, I think that a lot of the time in the world, we have these very binary labels and uh, that's nothing new. That's nothing new. Uh, but maybe something that is drawn from, uh, I don't want to call it more ancient wisdom because obviously we are all compendiums of, of different uh, elements per se. But drawing from ancient wisdom, you can use um, these different parts of your one being to create a more holistic self. So for example, when I'm talking about confidence and nervousness, I would say that when someone is confident in themselves, when someone really does believe that they are worth something, that they're worth maybe even a specific value, but they might have this inner part of themselves that would say, no, I'm, I'm not because I don't know how to express that correctly. You can use that nervousness to your own advantage a, by doing research into yourself and into other persons, and B, by confiding that in trusted persons, and then having that dialogue that you normally would have just in your mind that can oftentimes, I think, result negatively, and have that with another individual, have that with another person that becomes your sounding board, your resonator to actually what the reality might be. When we do this, when we, we allow other people to, to be in our lives, especially when it's uh, trying to be a better version of ourselves or trying to provide something of substance for others by, by doing this type of work, um, I think we come to a really interesting, uh, I, I guess you could say conclusion, which is nothing new in any capacity, especially in, in the field that I'm in. It's this idea of the necessity of the other. You, you need other people all the time. We need people. I mean, you needed someone from the moment you were born and you'll need someone probably in the moment that you pass away, that you die. Because we are social beings. Uh, we were made to live in community. And yet oftentimes when we have individuals in society, we see as almost hermetic in some capacity. We think that that might be the human ideal. But even these people that are greats in our minds who are almost hermits, either emotionally, spiritually, or physically, they still understood the essence of community and they would feed into that community by different avenues. So really, I think that a lot of the time it's finding out in what ways we are isolationist and what ways we're communal but never uh, pigeonholing ourselves into one or the other, using uh, our, our entire person, who we are holistically, to really come into fruition there. And by accepting that necessity of the other, we accept that we can confide things like nervousness in those that we trust to become a resonating board. Because frankly, there might be some things that we're nervous about that we should be nervous about. And uh, even using this concept of this person as a resonating board, we may not be nervous about things that we would, uh, you know, feel very confident about. And when we confide in somebody that we know will give us an honest, truthful opinion, they might tell us, well, maybe you should be a little bit more nervous about this. And we should never take it as a slight at our own confidence. We should take it as a genuine, sincere warning. Now, now whether or not we're actually going to use that as an implication for further action is on a personal prerogative. Uh, for me, I think that you would never use it for uh, further action unless you can then see it justifiable or if you can see other persons erring towards that same conclusion. Uh, but to, to get back really onto this topic of nervousness and confidence, when we are nervous and when we are confident, both are equally valid things. Both of them are equally human. Uh, both of them are meant to be a part of a consummate human being. Uh, to what degree is, is dependent on that person. But we all need to remember, we really do all need to remember that confidence is something that's built. Confidence is something that is a gift freely given, A, by others, and B, by oneself. 
Uh, and so when we don't allow ourselves to, to be confident in um, who we know we are or who we might believe we are and allow others to give us the confidence of, of not just their love, but of also their reassurance and understanding, we, we start to shut off something fundamental about ourselves. And, and this is different from pride. You know, pride is the, the type of thing that latches onto us, that leeches us. And then the pride drags us into a, a distorted view of ourselves. Whereas confidence is understanding who we are and beyond understanding who we are, understanding how we can be a gift to others. Uh, and really at the end of the day, the nervousness can sometimes impair that gift, but sometimes that nervousness will then nurture the gift, refine the gift, so that way not at, only at the end of the day is it a gift freely given, but it's a gift freely given in its best capacity.